On March 11th, 11 new victim advocate volunteers completed a four-week, 48-hour training program. They are now ready to go on call at least twice a month on 12-hour shifts. The new volunteers are joining a group of 24 seasoned volunteers responding on calls to assist victims of crime or traumatic events. So Carol, tell me about how many um, volunteers you have. Okay, currently we have 32 active community volunteers. All right. How many do you try to run through a class, and how often do you hold your classes? We hold our classes once a year, partly because it's a real time-consuming process, and we recruit uh -huh. all year. So every year in February, we hold a class, and we uh, have run through anywhere from 10 to 20 volunteers in one class. Um, <clears throat> ideal is about 10 to 15. Okay. How long do most of your volunteers last? We have volunteers who have been with us going on 15 to 18 years. Really? Yes. And um, some would come and try this for a while and decide if it's for them or give their time and make their commitment. And so it varies. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, are, what do you think the motivation is for people to come to this program and to work in this capacity as a volunteer? Good question, because um, that's part of our screening process. Mm -hmm. We want to be careful that we're not um, drawing people who are working out their own trauma, and then we're re-traumatizing them because the, the um, motivation is to try to help others. Mm -hmm. So we're real careful in that that's a good um, gesture, that, we, that they're in a good place to have worked through their own um, issues and be able to actually be there for other people. How, how would one apply and, and get into the program? What will, what will it take? Okay, so well, we have, we're trying to get our applications, which are online, and then we obviously respond to community members or any inquiries, and we mm -hmm. send out the information about our qualifications, which are to be um, 18 years or older. And um, we ask for initially a um, minimum of a two-year commitment. Obviously, there are some people who can't fulfill that. Mm -hmm. And then to give at least two 12-hour shifts um, a month, and, okay. and mostly of their choice. And the screening process is, obviously, we're sending these people into people's homes and into situations mm -hmm. where we, we need to have that level of trust. So we do background checks and polygraphs on all of our volunteers. How important is this? Oh, my gosh. I can't even tell you. We, we could not operate without our volunteers. And the most valuable piece of that is that we are a very diverse community in Aurora. And um, having community volunteers allows us the luxury of having a good cross-section mm -hmm. of our community. We have, uh, currently we have five males. We have um, three Spanish speakers. We have uh, an advocate who signs for the deaf. And we're able to draw from different um, faith-based communities and different ethnical backgrounds. So, and we have um, young college students who are eager to learn their mm -hmm. education and want to know if this is what they want to do. So it, it's all over the board, but um, <clears throat> it, it just brings such a balance in their enthusiasm and their, it, it means so much to be able, for a victim who is in the worst point of their life and has had something horrible happen mm -hmm. and at three o'clock in the morning to have someone show up and say, well, you know, my name is so-and-so and I'm a volunteer. I'm here because I want to be here for you. It is a powerful message. Uh, it has been an absolutely uh, intriguing and wonderful uh, experience, uh, to be very honest. Um, uh, presented a lot of information, uh, some information that uh, obviously I think we probably would never have uh, thought about, uh, been exposed to. Um, some challenging information as well, obviously, as we're dealing with some very sensitive um, issues, um, some very sensitive occurrences. Uh, but overall, um, I think we were comforted by the fact that we had a very capable staff and group of instructors uh, that were able to give us guidance and uh, some information as we went through the program.